Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Lady Trish with Arts and Craft Class. Uh, today we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do is work with some uh, discarded wine bottles. Now, I know you all don't drink wine, so maybe your neighbors or someone down the street has some wine bottles that you could use, okay? But anyway, we're going to start out with any kind of wine bottle. And we have some twine, we have some ribbon, we have some, uh, they call it raffe uh, straw rope, glue, glue stick, scissors, and some greenery. And what we're going to do is make this wine bottle look like uh, a bunch of grapes. And what we do first is, uh, I have these marbles that you get at the dollar store and uh, they're in a pack of a dollar yeah, dollar general or dollar tree and they, they remind you of grapes so what we do is get our start right about here right under this little neck of the, the wine bottle and we put a little glue on it and that sticks right on there let's see if it make better and we start on the side there. And these are gonna look like grapes. Okay. You start out kind of wide. And you want it to use larger uh, stones, you, you could. That's, these are kind of the, the rough kind. And then we have some more that are flat. And if you wanted to use that, you could, okay? But right now, we're just kind of, I'm just giving you some, some pointers on the smaller ones. So if you wanted to go big, you could certainly do that. Okay. And we just keep going down. We just keep going down. And they stick right on. And remember when you're using uh, a glue gun, you have to work kind of fast because the glue uh, dries very quickly. And if you don't um, put your project together with the glue fast, it's not going to hold because the glue gets cold and it won't hold another object to the object. Okay, we go right up under here. And see, it sticks really, really well. See how it sticks on there? There you go. I put a big one on there. Just to show, it, how, show you how it looks on there. Because grapes come in all sizes and all colors. And you can use a, a multi-color um, multi bag of what they call marbles. And I think that would look really, really pretty. I'm just going to do a, a few of them. So you get here they're larger and then they get smaller and smaller as you go down to the bottom of the bottle. Now, then you can either take the green raffe straw or you can take uh, the twine. And the twine is good. It makes it look a little bit more, a little bit rougher. And what we would do is take it and wrap it around very close. And every now and then we put a drop of glue in the back. And we put it close together so you can't really see the bottle, the glass bottle. We just go round and round and round and round and round. And every now and then you touch it up in the back with glue so it'll stay on there. But just make sure it's, it's close, the, the rows are close to each other. And every now and then put a little tap of glue back there to keep it in shape. And just remember to make it go close to each other. Close, close, close to each other. 
Okay. And that gives it a, like I said, kind of rustic effect. You tap it with some glue. Just make sure it's close together. Okay. Okay. You tap it with some glue. stop right there and but you don't have to you can go all the way down that neck of that bottle if you wanted to uh, but I think you all get the gist of it for right now and then what I would do is uh, get my greenery and this looks kind of like a grape leaf you know and I could I like to put it sideways here I'm going to tap it with some glue. I like the way it looks on the side there. So that's what I'm going to do. Tap it with some glue. Okay. And then um, you can pick any kind of uh, ribbon. I've made a bow here to fit right about there. But then also, if you want a rustic look also, like maybe around Christmas time, you could put this... Uh, I can't remember what they call this black and red uh, plaid, but I don't know whether you all know how to do a, a ribbon or not, a bow, but I'll show you right now. And when you make a bow, the best kind of ribbon to get is one with a little wire or a little stiffening in it because it, it twists a little bit better. But I would take it and I'd crunch it in the middle and then I would twist it and then I bring it up to the middle. I twist it again. Okay, bring it to the middle. And I will twist it again. Bring it to the middle. Then I twist it again. And bring it to the middle. And that would be our bow. And I would get a piece of twine. And what I would do is wrap it a couple of times, and then I would tie it, and that makes our bow. And that could go right up here. Let's see. And I take the ends of that twine, and I tie it in the back. I might have to tie this a couple of times. But I just want you to get the effect of it. And as always, we have a, a finished project with evenness on the ends. And it would look something like this. And one other finishing touch on it. I'm going to show you the one that I have at my house that I've taken. Okay. I took it off the bar because that's where it is. And this is how mine looks. And I got these little lights from somewhere. I don't remember where I got them from. But you, they sell them at, at home and they sell them uh, sometimes at the dollar store, you can find them. But that's the way it would look. A little bow there, a little neutral bow, and the, the raffi twine, and then my little greenery. I'm gonna show you how it looks in the dark. 
And that's how it looked. And that's so romantic uh, at the bar when you got a little uh, soda water, drinking a little soda, a little apple juice or something with an umbrella in it that looks very, very nice. It also looks good in the bathroom. And see, you don't have to put that on there. Maybe, maybe around Christmas time you could you want it to. If you have a little country kitchen, I have black and white. No black and white. And I thought that was cute for a kitchen scenery, you know. Whatever color you have in your kitchen or in your bar, you stick that up there. But that's the way it's supposed to look, and you just go all the way down, and you just it just it just gets smaller as you go down to the end. Okay. And you can use any type of bowl. I have these in the bathroom, but I don't want a lot of light in the bathroom. And I want might want to get up, so I have these in the bathroom. But you can also uh, get the lights around Christmas time, uh, and the plug-in Christmas lights, the clear ones. And it's about 20 of them on a, on a string, and that works well, too, in my bathroom. So it gives it a little ambiance, a little subtlety, not a, a glaring, glaring light, but just something subtle so you can get up and go to the bathroom. Or when you're in the, at the bar in your home, you just have a little something there with a little, little jazz music going on, you know. So that's our project for today. But the thing about it is I want you to see some more. This is another one that I have in the kitchen. Okay. And this right here is a decoupage right here. And this one is also a decoupage. These are houses. And these right this right here is done with uh this plain ordinary cocktail napkins and a decoupage and we put the I put the little um sequence on it and then I put the uh this the uh raffe twine around it. And it, it just looks kind of cute, you know. So there you are. And like I say, don't throw any of your wine bottles away that you got from your neighbors. Um, they're easy to use. Just repurpose them, clean them uh, with some hot water and some soda, and all the labels will come off. And then you can prepare to do your awesome crap. Thanks so much for listening. I hope I, I enlightened you a little bit. And if you have any questions, you can repeat. Uh, the video or we can go on Zoom or you can give me a group, have a group uh, text that you can send me or you can give me a call. If there's anything that you need or I can help you with, just let me know. Okay, see you later. This is Lady Trish. Remember, be safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we'll see you next time. Bye.